Hello friends, welcome to Crack Kid CSE and in this particular video, we will be understanding the syllabus of computer organization and architecture in a detailed manner. So this is a subject with a good weightage. In 2020 itself, the questions from this subject came for around 11 marks and the average weightage of the subject is 7 to 12 marks. So most of the students find this subject a bit tricky. So I will be trying to explain you each and every topic in such a way that you will not only able to understand the topic but you will also be able to solve the question. So I will be including examples with the previous year gate questions along with the theoretical concept of the topics right so let's quickly go through the syllabus that what the other things that we will be covering in this particular playlist so the chapter one is introduction of computer organization and architecture and this will be starting from basic terminologies like what is computer what is program what is instruction and what is data and what is the different view as per the designers perspective and as per the users perspective then we will be moving on to the data format like what is fixed data uh, fixed point data and what is floating point data format in fixed point data format we will be understanding what is signed format what is unsigned format and complement format and in floating point we will be understanding what is single precision and what is double precision that is 32 bit and 62 bit format after this we will be moving on to this computer architecture under computer architecture we will be understanding two kind of architecture one will be von Neumann architecture and another will be Harvard architecture. Then we will be moving on to computer and memory organization. In this we will be understanding what is byte addressable memory, what is word address addressable memory along with some questions and if there is previous year question available on this particular topic, I will be discussing that also. Then we will be moving on to CPU pin structure, memory interfacing and system bus design. So this will be in chapter 1. In chapter 2 we will be discussing instruction cycle. In instruction cycle we will be understanding what is one address instruction, what is two address instruction, three address and four address instruction. In PSW we will be understanding what is accumulator, what are the different flags that we use. After understanding the flag we will be moving on to the addressing modes. Right? So there are multiple addressing modes we will be understanding and trying to implement all the addressing modes one by one. Then we will be moving on to the instruction set. In instruction set we will be understanding what are the different type of operations like data transfer, data manipulation and transfer of control. Then we will move on to the interrupt and its type. Here we will be understanding what is hardware type interrupt, what are software type interrupt, maskable, non-maskable, vector, non-vector. So all kind of interrupts will be discussed here with some risk and CISC architecture. Then we will be moving on to the third chapter which will consist ALU data path and control unit in that particular chapter we will be understanding what is micro operation how you can write the micro program then control unit design what is hardware control unit what is micro program control unit then we will be moving on to the performance analysis then there comes the most important chapter of this particular subject which is pipelining so pipeline this complete chapter is very important so we will be understanding pipelining, how we can schedule the instruction, what are the different pipelining hazards. So this particular topic hazards, this was earlier considered as a part of pipelining by default but this time in the 2021 syllabus by IIT Bombay they have explicitly mentioned this hazard as pipeline hazard in their syllabus. So you can expect at least one question from this particular topic right. After pipelining we will be moving on to the memory organization in memory organization we will be starting from hierarchical and sequential access memory organization followed with cache memory io organization io modes like what is programmed io interrupt driven io and dma then we will move on to the secondary organization in secondary organization we will be understanding what is uh, hard disk right how the hard disk actually works so the reference book is one by William Stallings and the name of the book is Computer Organization and another book is Computer Organization and Architecture by Morris Mano. So these both books are very good but I strongly suggest you not to follow any book by default. In case if you are getting difficulty in understanding any of the topic among the syllabus then you can refer these books for that particular topic. So do not blindly follow these complete books right. 
so our playlist will be in two ways so two parts basically will be having the uh, discussion in two parts in one part i will be discussing the functionality and in the second part we will be discussing the computer components so in functionality we will be having a basic idea that how the things are working in the computers right and what are the basic operation what are the basic things that you need to understand once you have a bit of idea about the computer functionality we will be moving on to the computer components like what is register organization what is memory organization so we will be seeing the topics will be discussed in brief in the functionality but those topic will be discussed in detail in the component so that you can have a complete grip on this particular subject so if you like this particular video do not forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and if you want to get connected with me the links of my social handles are given in the description also if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get an update whenever i am uploading any new video and in case if you are looking for a video in which the brief idea of the syllabus of all the subjects then i have created around two videos one regarding the marks distribution which i have uploaded yesterday and one video regarding the updated syllabus so you can check out these two videos to have a clear idea about the changes which has been made by iit bombay and regarding the marks distribution so thank you very much for your time keep supporting keep learning have a great day